Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. My name is Troy and today we're going to be customizing the Anis Euros X32 in GTA Online. <laughs> So this is the second vehicle that we are customizing from the new bottom dollar bounties update. Um, in the last episode we customized this, the Cockett D1, which was really really cool. I love that vehicle. And today we're customizing a returning vehicle actually. This one was in GTA San Andreas for those of you who played that game. Um, based on a Nissan Fairlady Z for those of you who don't know. Um, it's a classic Japanese sports car. So let's take this thing up to the customization shop and see what kind of parts are available. And here we are in the custom shop. So let's go ahead and apply the full armor and full brakes to this thing. We start off with the front bumper panel here. We got the sock bumper panel. We can go for a black light panel. Just adds a little black accent down there at the bottom that actually looks quite good. And we got a chrome version of that, which looks absolutely hideous. Um, I think, yeah, we'll go for that black. That looks quite good. I have no idea how I want to build this thing. With the coquette, we went for a sort of clean, classic street build. I think with this, we want to build it into a cool sort of Japanese, maybe like a drift car style. I'm not really sure. Uh, engine upgrades. We don't have any visual engine upgrades again, which is a bit of a shame. Um, but we'll go for full level 4 tuning. Exhaust options. So we have this tiny little exhaust on each side. We can go for quad exhausts. Which I think the real life car did have quad exhausts. I can't remember to be honest. Um, we've got a titanium version of that. Then we can go for oval exhaust. They look very good. I like that. We've got a titanium version of that. Then we've got the double small bore exhausts. So a quad bore sort of thing. We've got a titanium tipped version of that. Then we've got the large exhausts. And we've got the double large exhausts. Um, I'm going to go for the oval exhaust because I think they look quite good on this vehicle. Um, yeah, that looks quite nice. Uh, grill options next. So the grill, I'm guessing it's going to be the lower part. Yes, it is. So we've got the stock grill, which is just black mesh. We can go for chrome grill inserts. We got black grill inserts. We got secondary grill inserts, which is going to be like a light blue. We will be changing up the color later. Um, but primary is this dark blue. And as you can see there, secondary is the light blue. We've got the crossed grill inserts in chrome. And we've got a black version of that. And a secondary version of that. Then we've got the modern inserts, like the honeycomb style. we got a black version of that. And a secondary version of that. I actually just like the stock, so we're going to leave that how it is. The front of this, the sort of lights do look a little bit like they've been taken from a C4 Corvette. The sort of lower lights. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, hood options next. We've got the stock hood. We can go for a custom hood with a little scoop in there. Looks quite nice. We've got a secondary hood scoop. We've got a carbon version of that as well. Then we've got the street hood, which has the scoop going the other way. We've got that in secondary and in carbon. Then we've got the aggressor hood, which adds sort of vents on the side. And is it just vents on the side? Yeah, it's just vents on the side. We've got a secondary version of that and a carbon version of that. Then we've got the primary twin vented. We've got secondary version of that and a carbon. Then we've got the primary race hood. Okay, that looks very strange on a vehicle like this. We've got a secondary version of that and a carbon. And finally, we've got the primary competition spec, which is like the aggressor hood with an extra sort of scoop in the middle. We've got a secondary version of that and carbon. 
I quite like uh, this one, the street hood. That looks no, quite cool, cool, in my opinion. It looks kind of original. It looks something that could be sort of OEM, like a high-spec OEM hood. So we'll go with that. Uh, light options. The lights are sort of white at the moment. Of course, you can go for Xenon, or if you want to take it to the car show, you can always uh, paint them whatever colour you like. I just leave the headlights stock on most cars. I think it looks right on this. Livery options next. We can go for a black stripe. We can go for a white stripe. We got a double black stripe. We got a double white stripe. Then we got a triple black on the side there. Oh, and it's on the front sort of fender area. We got a white version of that. Then we got the black race flag. We got a white race flag. We've got the black spiky stripes. Okay, we've got white spiky stripes. We've got drag race. Okay, we got the dense race, which Rockstar have messed up with the livery again. Uh, this was a trend that they were doing a while back where they were basically just copy and pasting from the other side. Obviously, and all the letters and stuff are backwards, so it looks like they've messed up with this one as well. But there we go, we've got a dense street camo as well, and that is the lot. I'm actually not a fan of any of these, I think they all look absolutely hideous. So, we're not going to go for a livery option in this, we're going for a sort of street build again anyway. Um, louvers next on the rear window, we've got no louvers. We can go for some simple black louvers. We got those in carbon as well. We can get them in secondary. Then we got the aggressor louvers. We got a carbon version of those and secondary as well. Then we got the vanity louvers. And we got those in carbon and secondary as well. I'm not going to go for louvers unless it's a DeLorean. I don't think louvers look very good on any car. Um, but you guys might disagree. Plate options next. We can go ahead and change the colour of the plate. Obviously we've got the new E. Cola and the Sprunk ones. It would have been nice if we could have moved the front plate. Either deleted it or like moved it to one side. That would have looked quite cool. Because I think it would look better without the plate in my opinion. But there we go. Uh, rear diffusers next. We've got the stock rear diffuser. We can go for rear diffuser with cutouts. So it's quite difficult to see, but it's just behind the wheel there. It just adds a little vent behind the rear wheel. Hopefully you guys can see that. We've got the lipped rear bumper. Just adds a little lip there. We can go for an actual diffuser. We've got a carbon version of that and a secondary version of that. We can go for a large diffuser. We've got a carbon version of that and... Then we got the race diffuser. I thought we were going to have a secondary. We got the race diffuser. How is that different? Oh, so that the race diffuser is the large diffuser with the little cutout on the side. Okay. We got the carbon with secondary trim. Not seeing where it's applying the secondary color. Hmm. We got the carbon race diffuser. We got the competition diffuser, which adds some vents in the back. Um, so these are actually the same as the large diffuser, but they just have different sort of bumper options. Okay. We got a carbon version of that as well. And then we got the secondary competition diffuser. Um, I think we're just going to go for the lipped rear bumper. That looks quite nice. Just adds a little flare, but it's not too over the top. Respray we will come back to at the end. We've got side louvers next. So this is on the side windows there, behind the seats. We can go for side louvers. We've got a carbon version of those and secondary. And then we've got the aggressor side louvers. We've got those in carbon and in secondary as well. So you can go for a full louvered rear end if you want to. Again, I'm not really a fan of louvers, so I'm going to leave those, but it's nice if you want that option. Skirts next. Uh, we've got the stock skirts. We can go for side 
plates, which look very strange. We've got a carbon version of that and a secondary. Then we've got the skirt. We can go for a carbon version of that and a secondary. Then we've got the skirt with aero. And we've got that in carbon and in secondary. Then we've got a secondary skirt with aero. We've got a winged skirt. We've got a carbon winged skirt and a secondary carbon winged skirt. We've got the second full secondary winged skirt. We've got the race skirt, the carbon race skirt, the carbon with secondary trim and the full secondary colour. And that is actually the lot. Um, I'm not really sure which one to go for. I feel like we need to go for a little skirt just to match the sort of lip on the rear bumper. Um, but I'm really not a fan of any of these. Don't think any of them look right. So actually I'm just going to leave it. I don't think we need to. Uh, splitter options next. We can have a remove splitter. We can add a little splitter down there. If we want to go for like a street build, we've got a carbon version of that. We've got a winged splitter and a carbon version of that. And we have a secondary version of the winged splitter. And then we have the dropped splitter. We've got a carbon version of that. And we've got a carbon with secondary trim. We've got a full secondary option. Then we've got a vented splitter, which is similar to this one. But it just adds that little vent down there. We got a carbon version of that, a carbon with secondary trim, and a full secondary. Then we got the race splitter, carbon version of that, carbon with secondary trim, and secondary. And finally, we got the competition splitter. We've got the carbon competition splitter with secondary trim. We've got a carbon version of that, and we've got the secondary version. So you can build this thing as a full race car if you want to. Um, I quite liked... Which one was it? Um, this one. This one looks quite nice. So we'll go with that. And now I feel like I have to go for a split, a skirt on the side. So we'll maybe just go for this one. Just to match sort of the splitter there. That looks okay, I think. And now I'm thinking, do we need to go for a different diffuser? Um, I'm really not a fan of that diffuser, how it opens the back up. It looks a little Whatever bit odd. So I'm going to leave that. That looks okay. Spoiler options next. We can go for the hoop spoiler, which I think looks really good on these... Uh, Fair Lady Zeds. If you've ever seen one in real life with the hooped wing, the sort of Supra style wing, they look really cool. We got a secondary version of that. Then we got the Anis wing. We got a secondary version of that and a carbon street wing. We got the secondary street wing. We got the carbon raised. We got a secondary version of that. Then we got the raised alternate. So how is that different? Oh, so the actual mounts on this one are chrome. On this one, they are secondary coloured. Then we have the carbon race wing. We've got a secondary version of that. Then we've got the carbon GT wing and a secondary version of that. The carbon alternate. So again, the actual mounts are secondary coloured. We've got the carbon competition wing. We've got a secondary version of that. We got the carbon wing alternative. We got the drag wing, the secondary drag wing, and the carbon alternate drag wing. And finally, we've got the chassis mounted wing in secondary and alternate carbon secondary. Um, I'm going to just go for the hooped wing. I do like the stock sort of no spoiler. It does actually have like a little lip spoiler, like the real car does. I do like the hooped spoiler. I think that looks right on this thing. So we'll go with that. Sunstrip options. We can go for remove sunstrip. We can have primary, secondary, or black. Um, I guess we'll go for a primary one. She's a beauty. 
That'll look quite good, I think. Now, suspension. Let's see what kind of drop we get. Not massive, really. Considering this is like a sort of Japanese street car, I was expecting a bigger drop. But we'll go for full competition. It's going to stick this thing a little bit closer to the ground. Looking from this angle, with that spoiler and the sort of front headlights, it looks a little bit like a Ferrari F40. That wasn't intentional. Also, I've noticed the rear lights do look like they're from some kind of Lotus as well, which is quite funny. Um, transmission, we'll go for full race transmission and turbo tuning. Wheel options. Um, we've got these standard sort of six-spoke Japanese-style wheels, I guess. So, a Nissan wheels. I'll go ahead and find some better suited wheels. And then we'll go ahead and paint this thing. Okay, I've gone for these Organic Type 2. They're in the street category. I think they look quite cool. I do like those. Um, we'll go ahead and add the bulletproof tires. Do we want to go for some tire lettering? Um, we could go for like the Fukaru tire lettering. Um, no, I don't think that looks right, to be honest. Uh, window tints, we'll just go for a bit of light smoke. It does also tint the roof lights on the top. Um, this thing is like a T-top, which is quite cool. So if you uh, if you want to sort of hide the T-top a little bit, you can go for the light smoke. There we go. So let's go ahead and paint this thing. I do have a colour in mind. I want to go for like a cherry red colour. I think it's going to look quite good with this. Um, something like this. Like a garnet red. Uh, I think these are getting a little bit too dark. The wine red. It looks kind of good. But it's a little bit dark, I think. Um, the grace red is a little bit too red, if you can say that. Um, I think the garnet red will look good. And then we'll go for some kind of red pearlescent on here. Let's have a little look. Um, yeah, I think that looks quite good. We don't want it too bright. Maybe we'll just go for a blaze red. That looks pretty good, in my opinion. I do like that. A secondary option, obviously, it will change anything that you apply the secondary colour to. Does it change anything on the interior? It does change the stitching there, which you can see. So that is something to note. It doesn't change the steering wheel or anything like that. Unfortunately, there are no interior customization options for this thing. So you have to stick with the standard boring looking interior, which is a little bit of a shame because it looks so radical now on the outside and we've got this horrible sort of plain interior. Um, but there we go. That is the thing fully customized. Let's go ahead and take it outside. We'll open up all the doors. We'll see whether those lower lights actually work. I'm not sure if they're indicators or something, but we'll have a little look and we'll have a little look at the performance as well. Well, here we go. We have certainly transformed the Euros X32 into a cool Japanese street car. It always amazes me with Japanese cars. They look very, very boring from the factory. And once you modify them, they look so radical. But here we go. This is the vehicle outside. It is just starting to rain, so we'll keep those T-tops on. But I think it just looks fabulous. It does look very sort of F. 40-ish though Whoops. with this spoiler and from certain angles it really does look a little bit like an F40 but let's go ahead and see what kind of speed this thing has it is in the sports category so I don't know whether it's going to be keeping up with things like the Pariah um, I don't know if that's still the fastest vehicle I'm, I don't really play a lot of GT Online nowadays other than uh, customizing the new vehicles yeah it's not the fastest vehicle it does feel a little bit sluggish to be honest but again i think like the cockette we customized in the last video this is more of a car show car it's not really designed to do races and things like that it's just for people who like this kind of vehicle to just go ahead 
and uh, customize it, enjoy driving it around, take it to car shows, that sort of thing. Well, here we go. Let's go ahead and open up all the doors and have a little look inside. Okay, so here we are with all the doors open. Um, the engine bay actually is very detailed on this thing. It's a shame that there isn't any visual customization, but we've got some big twin turbos going on there, just like the real life car. So that's quite cool. It's got that nice Anis um, engine cover. It would have been cool if we could have exposed the cam covers. Uh, like the exposed cam belts always look quite cool um, and you can usually see them spinning around as well uh, on the interior we already saw in the customization shop it's very boring it's just a generic interior again it's a shame that we didn't have any interior customization on this thing and we've got quite a big boot actually um, it's fairly detailed again doesn't really serve any purpose in GTA Online because we can't put anything in the back there but it's kind of nice. The T-tops don't unfortunately open. It would have been nice if there was an option to remove the T-tops. Um, we could have had it open or maybe popped open or something like that. So that's a little bit of a shame. So now let's see whether any of the lights work. The lower lights do actually work. That is pretty cool. Um, I was expecting those to be like indicators, so I wasn't actually expecting those to work. I believe the main headlights have actually been stolen from the Supra in the game. I can't remember what the Supra is called in GTA Online, but you guys know the vehicle I'm talking about. But those lower lights do actually work, which is pretty cool. So there we have it guys, that is my customization and showcase of the new Anis Euros X32 in GTA Online. Let me know what you guys think of this vehicle. Are you happy that Rockstar have added it back from GTA San Andreas? Did you ever own the vehicle in GTA San Andreas? Let me know down in the comment section. And let me know whether you're going to buy this thing. Personally, I am a big fan of it. I do like the look of it. Um, I'm a big fan of the Fair Lady Z in real life. The twin turbo version, very, very cool. Um, I love that they've added some of the real life customization to this thing. It's a shame that there's no interior customization, as I keep saying, um, but I think a lot of these vehicles Rockstar are adding now are just going to be NPC cars in GTA 6, and they're just sort of adding them as a bit of extra content to GTA 5. So that makes me hopeful that we're going to see this thing in the next game. We won't have to wait for Rockstar to add it again. Uh, but let me know what you guys think. Is this going to be going in your Jap car garage? It's certainly going to be going in mine. But that's going to do it for today's video. If you did enjoy, then please like the video and subscribe so you don't miss any of the latest customization videos. We're going to be customizing all the new DLC vehicles and drip feed. So that's going to be coming out in the next few weeks and months. But that's going to do it for today. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.